The Bluegrass Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant is a chemical weapons destruction facility undergoing systemization, or testing. The plant will destroy the chemical weapons stockpile at the Bluegrass Army Depot near Richmond, Kentucky. The plant is dedicated to the destruction of 523 short tons T of nerve agent sarin GB and VX, and mustard agent, which constitute about 2% of the United States chemical weapons stockpile. Since 1944, the U.S. Army has stored approximately 2% of its original chemical weapons stockpile at BGAD. Destruction of this stockpile is a requirement of the Chemical Weapons Convention, an international treaty to which the United States is a party. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons is the implementing body of the Chemical Weapons Convention and monitors the progress of the nation's chemical weapons destruction programs. The Program Executive Office, Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives oversees the destruction of the Bluegrass Chemical Weapons Stockpile. <laughs> Planning and organization A systems contract was awarded in June 2003 to a joint venture team composed of Bechtel National, Inc., and Parsons Infrastructure and Technology Group, Inc. The Bechtel Parsons Bluegrass team is contracted to develop a design build plan and then design, construct, systemize, pilot test, operate and close the BGCAPP. In March 2005 the design build operate close schedule was extended to make the program more affordable on an annual basis. Site preparation work and the construction of support buildings continued and final designs for the remaining BGCAPP facilities were completed in 2010. After systemization of the facility, destruction operations are expected to begin in 2019 and to be complete by 2023. The plant will operate until all the chemical weapons have been destroyed. Closure activities shutdown, dismantling, and restoration of site are slated to be wrapped up by 2026. This schedule exceeds the terms of the Chemical Weapons Convention. Legislation enacted by the U.S. Congress in 2007 Public Laws 110-116 and 110-181 mandates the destruction of the remaining U.S. national chemical stockpile in accordance with the April 2012 date, but in no circumstances later than December 31, 2017. This deadline was subsequently extended to December 31, 2023, by the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2016, Public Law 114-92. Topic: <laughs> History of chemical demilitarization in Kentucky. Topic: Technology. The Department of Defense conducted studies to evaluate potential impacts of the elimination of these weapons using incineration and non-incineration methods for the plant. Four technologies were considered: incineration, chemical neutralization followed by supercritical water oxidation (SCWO). Chemical neutralization followed by supercritical water oxidation and gas phase chemical reduction. Electrochemical oxidation. The Department of Defense selected neutralization followed by SCWO for use at the depot. The method comprises the following steps Munitions are disassembled by modified reverse assembly. The chemical agent and energetics are separated. Agent and energetics are chemically mixed with caustic or water to destroy the chemical agent using hydrolysis. The resulting chemical compounds are known as hydrolysates. Hydrolysates are held and tested to ensure agent destruction before proceeding to secondary treatment. The agent and energetic hydrolysates are fed to the SCWO units to destroy the organic materials. 
SCWO subjects the hydrolysate to very high temperatures and pressures, breaking them down into carbon dioxide, water and salts. Metal parts are thermally decontaminated by heating them to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius for a minimum of 15 minutes. The metal parts can then be safely recycled. Gas effluents are filtered through a series of HEPA and carbon filters before being released to the atmosphere. Water is recycled into the pilot plant facility and reused as part of the destruction process. Topic: <laughs> Explosive Destruction Technology (EDT). After an X-ray assessment of the mustard munitions stockpile showed that the agent had significantly solidified in the rounds, making removal of mustard agent from projectiles difficult using neutralization and SCWO, ACWA decided to explore use of explosive destruction technology, aka explosive demolition technology, explosive detonation technology (EDT) for these projectiles. EDT uses heat, pressure from explosion or just heat to destroy the munitions, it is not considered incineration and does not require disassembly of the weapons. There are three general types of technologies that can destroy chemical weapons. Detonation technology, destroys the majority of the agent and explosive in the munition by detonating donor explosives wrapped around the munition. The resulting off gases are processed through secondary treatment to ensure agent destruction. Examples of detonation technology include the Transportable Detonation Chamber, or TDC, and the DAVINCH detonation of ammunition in a vacuum integrated chamber. Neutralization technology uses small explosive shaped charges to open the munition and consume the explosive in the burster and fuse. The agent is destroyed by subsequent neutralization. The U.S. Army's Explosive Destruction System, or EDS, is an example. Thermal destruction, uses the heat of the electrically heated containment vessel to deflagrate the munition and destroy the agent and energetics. The resulting gases are treated in an off-gas treatment system. The Static Detonation Chamber, or SDC, is an example of thermal destruction technology. Bechtel Parsons Bluegrass received approval from PEOACWA to begin initial work on an explosive destruction technology system at the Bluegrass plant. Following a competitive procurement process, Bechtel Parsons selected the Static Detonation Chamber. In June 2015, the SDC completed factory acceptance testing at the Dinasafe workshop in Kristinum, Sweden. The SDC was assembled and installed in 2016. In May 2018, EDT technicians brought the air filtration system online for the first time. In July 2018, construction substantially completed and testing began on EDT plant equipment in remote operations mode. In February 2019, a total of 24 B586 conventional munitions were processed in the static detonation chamber as part of systemization activities. Topic: <laughs> Public outreach. The Blue Grass Chemical Stockpile Outreach Office was established to serve as the community's primary information resource on chemical weapons destruction in Kentucky. The office responds to inquiries, provides information materials and coordinates guest speakers for a variety of different civic groups and organizations and interfaces with the governor-appointed Kentucky Chemical Demilitarization Citizens Advisory Commission and its Chemical Destruction Community Advisory Board. <laughs> 